Hello again. In the past two videos, we set up a bit of structure, but didn't do any work. Let's change that. Now we're going to create a new tag, a new super tag that will allow us to keep track of what we did and um, which task or which project we did it for. And that gives us the possibility to actually see who did what in a team context. So strap in and let's get started. So I'm going to create a new tag now that I call work log. And it's basically a tag that allows me to record what kind of work me or my teammates have been doing. So I recorded TFT01 video that is part of my work log that I'm going to create here. The work log tag, again, is very simple. It will contain a start time. It will contain a end time. And it will reference task that I worked on. So this is going to be an, not an instance of task because I don't want to have every task that I ever did, but a dynamic options. I'm going to find nodes with the tag task <coughs> that are not done yet as list. Uh, three videos and uh, as soon as the tasks get marked done, they will move out of here. So we go back and I want to build the title from fields because I want to record both what I did and when I did it in the title. So I'm going to start off with the name of the task. So we'll record TFT1 video, and then I'm going to add the start time to the, let's do a hive, uh, m dash to the end time here. So that's it. And when we open that and say, we worked on this from 1900, 1920, we see that in the um, tagline here, and here I can select that from the task. So that is um, the work log, and now I can just start creating more of these work logs. We'll see that in a minute. So I have added another um, work log here, and if I go on, I can create more and more work logs. Now, wouldn't it be nice if if I hit return in this work log node, then I automatically get the uh, a new entry tag as work log. And of course, we can do that. Uh, we go into the configuration of this node here, configure node, and the child super tag for this node is the work log entry. That, if I now hit return, I get a new entry. Ordered TFTO3 video expand the node. Um, I started about 1900. It's 1935 right now, and it's in the Aritana team video task. Righto. Now, this is something that actually would make sense to have in the day tag configuration. So let's go into Day tag, configure that, and I'm going to drag this node over here with all the three nodes here. Now, these three nodes obviously don't belong here, so let's mark them and move them to um, day. So there they are, and I can delete those references. <coughs> right. Closing that, now going to the next day, I have work log here. And if I expand work log, create a new entry, I get a work log here. So I'm ready to now kind of like journaling style enter the work that I'm doing day by day. And uh, you might be wondering how you notice who did what. Um, we'll come to that in a second. 
So in the next step, I want to link the work logs and the tasks so that I can see in a task what um, kind of things have been done for it. So I'm going to open my task uh, configuration. I'm going to add a search node that is looking for work log items. We run that so we see the get the list. Uh, I'm going to change that to table format, get rid of these columns here because we see all have all the information. Um, and I'm saving this. Um, then I'm looking for the task field where the task is the parent. So the, the task belongs to that create Tana team video in this specific instance. Click done, save this for everyone and close this. And if we now go into the task node and open the node here, we see the, the we recorded a TFT01 video. And of course, I forgot to rename the search node. Um, so let's go into that configuration node, change the name here, work log, close that. Now, how do we get the update to show up? Very easy. You click on, right click on the node itself, delete it, and it will repopulate because it comes from the template. And here we are. Before we move on, I want to expand the work log configuration of the super tag to include two more fields. First of all is the date of when that work log item was recorded. And the second one is who actually did the work. And uh, we need to do a bit of setup here because I want to have a search node that lists me all of the team members. So I'm going to create a search node that finds all the tag team members. And that is good. Currently, it only collects myself. Um, I'm going to rename that the ACME team. And I'm going to move that to the library because I don't want to have it in here. So go to the library. Now, you remember from a previous video that I have a field Google Mail or Gmail uh, address that I filled out for this entry here um, while you weren't watching. I'm going to use that to look up who is actually logged in. So let's get rid of the reference here and open the work log configuration. And we're going to add two new fields. The first one is date and the second one is who. Uh, the date is a date field. And we open up the advanced configuration. And in the advanced configuration, we can um, we have something called the initialize expression. And this is a formula that gets executed to compute the initial value. And right now you see there is no value um, here. But if I click on this little FX, turns green, I can now start to enter a formula. And a very simple formula is to format the current date. So the formula, formula is format date of created, that's the first parameter. And I want the format as a date reference. That reference. And you can see that if I switch back from edit mode, I will get a date here. And uh, let's see if that works. If I create a new work log item here, open that up, the date is pre-filled with today's date. So very well. Now we want to do the same thing for the who field. The who field can take an instance of person. And we do the same trick with the initialize expression. So the initialize expression is a bit more complex. It's going to be a filter. looking for children of. And what children of is it looking at? It's looking at the um, acne team that's created. So it's looking for children of the acne team. And it's filtering on it's filtering on the field. Um, email mail. 
here and it will return me the parent user. That's a hidden lore that you have. If you get out here, you will see that it now pulls out my name from the uh, that node. So let's close that and create, delete this node and create a new work log item. And you will see date and who has been filled in. And as a final configuration, I can go in and set the height field conditions here to always and set height field conditions to always because I don't need to see that. It's kind of obvious. Now, as a final uh, piece of getting info to into the task node, I want to reconfigure the view um, that we have in the task work logs to show who did something and what date it was on. I'm going to go back into the configuration. And here, if we're hitting a little snag, I cannot change the, the table that is being displayed. Tana doesn't recognize new fields. So the only way I found at the moment is to go ahead and delete that node and redo it from scratch. So creating a search node with the work log tag, run that so we get all the entries, switching that to a table, and then getting rid of columns we don't need, column task, and uh, that looks much better like that. And uh, we need to also add a new field in the query, um, the task should be the parent. And I managed to create a bunch of notes here, deleting them, done, save for everyone. And now if we, again, need to do two things, I need to change that work log as well. And need this now here it gets recreated. Now I get the view that I want. So what we have now is um, we have a day view where we can do uh, record work. Who did what? Um, we can see who did what in the tasks. And as a next step, uh, we want to get an overview over the activities that everybody has been doing in this shared workspace.